to everyone watching this video. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born and I function autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did. I'll just cut to the chase. Meg. Real name, Megan Iris Myers. I'm 15 feet, weight 500 pounds, status hero and older sister of him. Base, Fortress of Heroism, Sahara. Intelligence, five brains and a plus. Behavior, intellectual and willy, witty. She will do anything to help. Lethality, highly deadly to most opponents. Weaknesses, being rivaled in underestimation. Powers, she has the same powers as her sister. Eyes, light hazel. Hair, bright red and luscious. Origin. Megan Iris Myers is simply the older sister of Pym. Despite that their pods were ejected into space at the same time, the capsule belonging to Meg had a slower trip to the default Earth. While in it, the technology made her hibernate, allowing her to age, get nutrients, and develop an education, along with an effect that gave her red hair. When her pod landed near the Fortress of Heroism, Pym and Mip went to examine it, waking Meg for the first time. Since then, Meg would do all that's needed to help Pim with her heroics. Costume. She simply wears similar clothes as Pim. Team Solitary with Pim and other heroes on inspiration for Pim. Here's the next character. Dark Meg. Real name, inapplicable. Height 15 feet, weight 500 pounds. Status, villain and sister of Dark Pim. Base, Fortress of Terrorism, the moon. Intelligence, five brains and a plus. Behavior, stubborn and heartless, she'll do anything to honor her sister, no matter how much bloodshed comes to the play. Lethality, extremely lethal to anyone who crosses her path. Weaknesses, if Meg gets killed, then she will die with her. Powers, she has the same powers as her sister. Eyes, glowing red, hair, bright red and luscious. Origin. When Dark Pym learned that Pym has a sister, she decided that she'd have one as well. Soon, she got a sample of Meg's blood, merged it with her own, and created Dark Meg. Afterwards, Dark Pym and Dark Meg sent out an army of clones to destroy the innocents. And when Pym, Mip, and Meg thought that they lost, their, the armies were destroyed by an arriving Kydericus. Outraged of this, Dark Pym and Dark Meg are now left desperate to find a new plan against Pym and her allies. Costume. She wears the same outfit as her sister. Game Solitary with Dark Pym and other villains. Original inspiration, Pym. Here's the last character, just so you know. Scream. Real name, Leah Scotts. Height, 6 feet 1.5 inches. Weight, 197 pounds. Status, villain and enemy of Cochlea. Base, untrusted dimension bull. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, willful, sneaky, and stubborn. She'll do anything to destroy Cochlea for humiliating her. Lethality, extremely dangerous to everything in her proximity. Weaknesses, she has a low trust level. Powers, she has the same powers as Cochlea, but with the ability to talk without using her powers. Instead of using radio boots, she can create sound waves that enable flight. Eyes bluish green, hair light blonde and curly. Origin In the untrusted dimension, the native Cochlea is rather a villain who is five years older than her default self, locally known as Scream. After developing her powers, Scream desired to become unstoppable. However, Scout arrived to destroy the two Earths of that dimension, and Scream was instantly defeated. When Scout was finally prevented by an arriving Cochlea, Scream realized that Cochlea made her look like a joke. Bowing to end her life, Scream would sometimes get help from Vision and Nasal to destroy Cochlea, hoping to forgive herself of that one failure. Costume. She wears a similar outfit as her counterpart. Team Solitary or with other villains or an inspiration of Cochlea. Well, those are the three characters. I apologize for the the typo when I was describing Meg. I just really hope you understand the memo of that and such. 
And just last night, I made a new illustration of Destiny, as seen here. The stick figure next to her is supposed to be close to my height. I'm 6'2", and this is how tall Destiny is compared to myself. She's 7'6". You know? I hope it's decent to you guys. And I'm also planning to make a video at Hogo Zoo, depending on whether or not I would be able to for my uh, 27th, no, my 15th anniversary with Susan, you know, on the 27th of March. Sorry for the, you know. Yeah, I hope you guys have a decent uh, St. Patrick's Day and such. If you guys want, you can like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. Your choice. You know how it is. Hope you guys have a fine rest of the month and such. And until next time, in transmission.